The oh. Ooh. <laughs> What's up guys, Rich Huber Bash. I'm out here for a quick rip. Just waiting for my brother Dave to show up with his Outcast 8S, maybe his X-Max. Dave just got a brand new EXB. Here's a shot of mine. This sucker has not been out for a while. I just washed her up not too long ago. Definitely uh, gonna be putting an M2C four millimeter Goliath series chassis on here soon. As you'll see, I've got Mitch Looper's EXP towers. I also have the ZRS shock set up. Hot racing diff case, I think both front and rear at this point. Finally getting big girl back out guys. It's been a while since I bashed with my brother Aaron at the gravel pit. Still running the 840 KV Hobby Star and I've got 34, 34 gearing, obviously running on 8S. This thing is fully hopped up with Mitch Looper's M2C upgrades, the chassis, suspension mounts, pretty much everything. Last but not least, guys, on the far end, I just got my Big Rock V3. This thing's a little beast. This will only be my second time out with it. Did great at the skate park. After my first bash, I decided to just, I had these extra set of Trackstar Turnigy 4 millimeter 7075 shocks on here. Been running these for years now on other rigs, guys, but basically I run 6S pistons and some old, really soft Team Durango springs front and rear so this thing's super super plush now so here's a quick shot of dave's brand new exp so anyway he's obviously he's running his own body i think he's got a castle 2200 i guess the big question is which one to get for christmas this year Hey man, the bumper, the bumper took it, dude. Heck yeah. All right guys, you'll see I busted a rod end when I shaved the ramp, so I'll have to do a better job lining up. It felt like my power was cutting out too, so I don't know what's up with that. I'm gonna have to check my motor wires real quick. Just a rod end. Just a rod, that's it. Nice. I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah. No straight? biggie, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, chassis straight, baby. MTC. Ooh. Beast, bro.
All right, ready to race, Dave? All right, guys, well, that's it. We're out of time. Oh, well, I'm out of time. Dave's got an open schedule today, but anyway, absolutely stoked with the Creighton 8S, guys. I really, you know, I've had several people ask me, which do I prefer, the Outcast or the Creighton? Quite honestly, I love both of them, so I don't really have any preference. So big shout out to Arma, and big shout out to Mitch with MTC Racing. Definitely keep an eye out for the new 3 and 4S prototype parts we're testing right now. So soon, soon enough, we'll see a lot of 70, 75 upgrades. All right, guys, until next time. Oh, yeah. No, it takes a while to get used to the LSD diffs, dude. It took me at least three bashes to get used to them. And then these tires are so fresh. They... Oh, yeah. Oh, the pole. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> dude, it's the Basconi. You hit the Basconi. Uh, at, le at least it was all chassis, right? Yeah. M2C could take that all day long. Are you driving one-handed, dude? Yeah. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> Looking good though, bro. Nice, nice save bro, you're on your wheels. <laughs> 